The Mobile Malaria Project was a 7,500 kilometre journey taking the very latest portable genetic sequencing technology into the field to sequence DNA from mosquitoes so that we can understand how genetics might be used in the fight against malaria. Because genetic data can tell us about which insecticides mosquito populations are resistant to, it holds great promise as a tool that can be used to gain insights into the spatial distribution of insecticide resistance. We're here at Jaguar Land Rover Special Vehicle Operations to finally see the car that will take us on our trip across Africa. We've added a few extra features in here. We fitted the car with Goodyear Wrangler tyres. You've got two awnings that come out. Jason's got this real drive for scientific excellence. I mean, he's got the lab stuff running from scratch in the last three months or so. And I think his perfectionism is really what's enabled the science of this trip to be as valuable as it is. So the journey started in Wolvish Bay, and from there we traveled to Windhoek. So we're the Mobile Malaria Project. Jason and I are geneticists. Isaac is a medical doctor. What we have in the back of our car is a portable genetic sequencing lab. We started to try and use the mobile lab in lower resource settings. And we also managed to run the genetic sequencing machine for the first time in the back of the car. So we drove up through the north of Zambia, Kasumu in Western Kenya, to try and sequence mosquito DNA with Dr. Erica Chomo. We drove to a village where we collected mosquitoes. And then some students from Eric's group, assisted by me, did the whole library preparation. So extracting DNA and preparing that DNA to run in the sequencer. There are some incredibly talented African scientists doing really important work across Africa, but they don't have the same exposure and opportunity to use the very latest technologies as we do in the UK. So being able to share our knowledge of these new technologies and to understand in much more detail how they could be used by African scientists in the field was a really important takeaway for me.